Uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest. It's over six five-minute rounds of two falls, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to be signed. In this corner, ladies and gentlemen from Bolton, the British heavy middleweight champion, Bud Royal. Come on, thank you. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, from Brixton, Steve Lugan. Steve Logan, and with, still with the uh, Mexican style tash that we're getting used to now, the light blue trunks, Logan with his back to us, and Bert Royal on the left there, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, which of course is a weight between 12 stone 8 and 13 stone 5. Between the middleweight and light heavy, in which Logan of course is at 14 stone. round one. Round one of six five-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or one KO to decide the winner. Bert Royal, Steve Logan, and it's Royal from Bolton in the dark trunks. Well, we've seen Logan a couple of times with that Mexican moustache. I think it, we'd miss it if, we, if he'd shaved it off now. on the way into a toe hole. Toe and ankle. The ankle often not held by the hand, of course, the toe held by the hand and the arm forcing the ankle over. In this case, the toe is held by the body while the arm is forced the heel over. All the same effect. Royal's got a million of them. Get it over. Break it up, break the hole. Royal lithe body of Bert Royal as fit as ever it was. And he's gonna get quite a few of those in this bout, no question about it. Straight fingers to the throat. But not, I hope, when he's on the deck. doing on the inside of the throat there. The referee can't see it. Often does this one. <laughs> Tony Mansley trying to move the hair out of his way so he can see. <laughs> it's not fooled anymore. Not fooled anymore. By it. One, 
One minute to go, round one of six. And he's thrown up quickly under the attack this time with a stranglehold standing. the surfboard attempt but not quite because the feet are left but it's still a backbreaker 25 seconds to go well Royal operating a weakener here Logger has it on the better for him Logan unable to counter it so he puts on the body scissors, but a little bit late for that one. On the bell now. Steve Logan, often been likened to the famous film actor of the 30s who took Charlie Chan part in the series of movies, so my father tells me. Steve Logan of Woolworth, actually, is born in Woolworth, London, 14 stone of him. Second away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go. Two falls to decide this bout, and right from the bell, Royal walks straight into a beautiful uppercut. Uppercut forearm, of course. And I'm not so sure about that one. Logan trying to pretend to us and the referee that it was a straight finger to the eye, but I think highly doubtful. Attempted Boston Crab, he slipped as he got the Boston the feet on for the Boston. Bit lucky for Logan, he did there. Another chance of a folding press though for Royal. Royal complaining with Logan grabbing the flesh and warning him. Public warning on the way if he doesn't know. right leg barring through the figure four leg lock. The left leg just putting a little pressure on, but it's the right leg that's doing the damage. Especially if he goes back now. Everybody wants him to here in Dunstable. One of the most unpleasant positions to be in this Indian Deathlock, as it's sometimes called.
again, the Logan left thumb aiming for the pressure point at the side of the net. Anything he can think of to get out of this figure four leg lock. Royal quite right to keep canvas wrestling as long as he can against Logan to avoid these tremendous jabs for which he's renowned. Well, he's clear of the lock now, anyway. Yes, just about clear. Royal forced to release there. Folded leg, Logan. Using the double wrist lock position of the hands out. Half a minute left, round two. All the time, Logan being looser and looser that hold. But it's too late for Royal to come back there. And this is very, very quick. Just a couple of seconds only, and he's in the ropes. Royal not too happy about the situation here. I think one or two of the moves to his neck, his throat, on the inside in that last, uh, well, in the early part of round two before the figure all lock was put on, worried him. And he was complaining with the referee then to watch Logan, who covers, of course, all the action up with his hair. Bert Royal, the British heavy middleweight title holder, 12 stone 10. Away. Round three. Round three and no score. Two falls to the side. It's Logan and he's going to come out with those more often than ever now. Logan with the light blue trunks there, strolling around Royal, waiting for another chance at that forearm face. And that was a straight fingers. So was that. It has to be. The referee was on this side. Hold and slam. Logan going down a reverse double knee. A fairly simple one after those weakness. But referee not counting. Wasn't happy about something there. I don't think it was the shoulder blades not being down. He didn't like the, what Logan was doing somewhere. Anyway, he wouldn't count for a pinfall. Really, beauty, that one. And the follow down this time with a reverse double knee. Nothing illegal there this time, so it's a pinfall to Logan in round three. I'm an IT manager with benefits and the company car. I'm a website designer with real job satisfaction and less stress. I design computer games, earning 30,000 a year with real promotion prospects. I'm a computer programmer working from home, spending more time with family and friends. If you're underpaid and undervalued and want real job prospects, train for a career in computers now with CompuTeach, one of the UK's leaders in IT training. Join thousands who left their old jobs behind. You don't need experience, you learn mainly at home, in your own time, for IT qualifications employers really want. CompuTeach will even help you find the right job. Change your life forever. More money, better prospects, better quality of life. Call CompuTeach now on 0800 657 657 for a free information pack. That's 0800 657 657. Being a member of the AA is a bit like having a fully trained mechanic with you 24 hours a day. A huge set of tools. Spares. A tow, just in case. And satellite technology, so you can always be found. But of course, all you really need to carry is this. Call 0800 444 to join now from just £35. Just ask. I'm the album. 
them up against allergies, but you can treat almost every allergic reaction with Pyritin. Pyritin, for the family's allergies. Tired of the same old games on your mobile? Then download the latest releases from Gameloft. Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Master the Sands or be buried. 13. The conspiracy is everywhere. Not even your mobile is safe. Splinter Cell, extended ops, sent where no one else can go to do what no one else can do. Rainbow Six. Can you take the pressure? Speed Devil. Race around the world at breakneck speeds for money. You buy a game, text, play action to 84050. Then follow the easy on-screen instructions. Second away, round five. Round five. Logan like the trucks. Leading. One fall to make. Walking with the drop kicks now, though. Three of them. And a fourth. All beauties, all landing right on the chin. And the follow up for the crutch hold and slam. Reverse, double knee hold by Royal. Should have him. He's got it. And Burt Royal's equalizer came in exactly 26 seconds of round five. One fall each, Bobby Palmer. Again, ladies and gentlemen, in round five, an equalizing fall, but what? What beauty it was, following all those four drop kicks, perfectly landing and making perfect weakness to follow up with the, uh, the double knee after the slam. So one, one round to go, one fall each and one public warning against Logan. Second away, sixth and final round. Come on, Come on. Final round six, Logan not too happy about coming out for this one. Royal suggests the start of the count. Again, Logan trying for the shot. Till his man just up before he attacks. There again. If he does it too early, he'll be the one to stop. The referee won't have to tell him. One of the greatest sportsmen in the game. Grab it, wrong position, grab it. And there's the hair again. What is it covering? What mischief is it uh, hiding? That's the question that. Grab it still on. And Royal quietly takes. A figure four leg lock, which was more or less offered to him. Nothing he could do no to it or avoid it. And the backbreaker over the knees now. Typical royal move. And Mansully waiting for a possible submission from Logan here. He loses the bout as he submits now. So next score wins. Right across the windpipe, knee, 
And Royal really angry from that. Very sorry to see Bert Royal get mad. Should have been. And he will now. A couple of minutes to go in this final round. And Royal now, possibly back elbow to the stomach. There it is, and the follow-up for her. <laughs> Ninety seconds left in this part. Straight fingers. Straight finger jab. more royal stuff now over the top to reverse double leg Nelson can he hold him down with that shoulder press and Mansoli not happy about the foot across the throat at all <laughs> still not happy about it so he takes it off temporarily one minute left Still cannot hold that left hand, left shoulder blade down. In fact, Logan escaping quite uh, cleverly there. Goes for the neck whenever he can, Logan. Half a minute left in the bout now. There's going to be a winning fall, and it better be quick now. Fifteen seconds to go. The leg spread royal, but he doesn't know how near it is to the end of the bout. Eight seconds. He's left it too late. The bell is going to stop him following up this one. And it's going to be a one fall each draw. Logan and Royal, one each. Bobby Palmer, our MC, into the ring now to announce that draw. Hey, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the contest having gone six rounds and each contestant having gained a fall apiece, the result is a draw. Hey, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight contest. It's over six five, six five minute rounds of two falls, two submissions or a knockout to the side. In the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, I should say in the red corner first, ladies and gentlemen, you'll forgive me. In the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, we have from Fallsworth in Lancashire, Johnny Saint. And the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, I feel sure needs no introduction, the European middleweight champion, and television personality, of course, Mick McManus. Um, McManus, there he is, who went over to kiss uh, Mrs. Poison. Incidentally, Mrs. Poison's from St. James's Hospital, hasn't been out for four years until this afternoon, especially to see her favorite, Mick McManus. Six five minute rounds, two falls to the side, and here we go for round one. The first round. Two falls to the side, remember, Mick McManus, Black Trunks, versus Johnny Saint of Bagley, Manchester. I notice Bobby Palmer saying from Failsworth, but of course he used to be, but he's now from Bagley in Manchester. 11 stone 2, Johnny Saint. 12 stone 7, Mick McManus. Referee Max Ward might have a little more trouble with this bout.
head scissors to McManus. Quite happy to stay there for as long as possible, if Saint will allow him. Oh, nice throw by McManus. Excellent arm roll there by Mick. Didn't think he'd uh, pull one off like that against Johnny Sand. Absolutely no chance at all, of course, of holding a pinfall from that angle. Not even a weakener there from Mech, he's just being thrown back through under the ropes. Unnatural break. <laughs> well, that's firm enough. As I s said before, I think he might have a little more trouble next ward in this bout than he did last. Backhammer to McManus. If from some of these uh, camera angles you can't always see the trunks, the, the tattoo marks on Johnny Saint's arms will help identify. There's two minutes left in this first round of six, and the best of three falls to decide the winner. Ah, yes, Saint tall enough for this one. Arm leader against the joint over the shoulder. But backhammer counter to Saint. But McManus quite neatly out. He meant to get grab both legs there, but at least he successfully countered. I wonder how long it'll be before Mick McManus starts to uh, go for the strength holds or his forearm jab because he's got a very speedy, agile fellow against him here. Maybe a stone lighter, Saint, but so fast. Less than a minute now. Nicely over the top by Mick. Very good move indeed, and not so far off a pinfall chance there. Holding him still well, but the shoulder blades nowhere near the canvas. Thirty seconds. Double wrist lock, Saint into a head scissors. Fifteen. And Saint has possibility of a submission hold here, he thinks, but I can't see it. He's only got three seconds to do it in. Max Ward getting very firm with Mick as we go over to Johnny Saint's corner from Bagley, Manchester at 11 stone 2, the former lightweight champion of Great Britain, of course. We've been seeing him pretty regularly on television I hope, uh, since about 1969, and I hope very much to see a great deal more of him because he's one of the finest lightweight wrestlers in the game. In fact, he wants to go up through the weights, this man. He's already 11-2 in a well. So there's his John Saint s symbol, Leslie Charteris, the Saint. Are you a homeowner who could benefit from an ocean finance loan? Perhaps by reducing your monthly outgoings by consolidating existing debts, home improving or simply treating yourself to whatever you have in mind. Many already have. I saw the advert, I saw people who looked like I was in my 
situation looked like honest, normal people, not actors. We'd looked at a couple of companies, hadn't we? Yes. And Ocean Finance seemed really friendly. Every time we contacted them to find out at what stage our claim was, they seemed to know who we were and, and what we were about. Everything was handled very efficiently and everything was settled within three weeks. It was as though a great weight had been lifted and I had the first good night's sleep in I don't know how many months. Ocean consider all circumstances and rates are competitive. So for that homeowner loan of up to £100,000, call us now on 0800 916 9120 or apply online at oceanfinance.co.uk. New World's Cornetto, give it to me. But it's Rich Chocolate Ripple, what's in it for me? I'm a man. Surprise, surprise, give me Cornetto. And I won't tell the guys. Try all six limited edition blood potions from Walt. If you've always fancied your chances at who wants to be a millionaire, well now you can play the game on your phone. Call 09064 731 731 and if you can answer 10 questions correctly, you could walk away with £50,000. Just imagine what you could do with all that cash. If you don't ring, you can't win. So call Phone Millionaire right now on 09064 731 731. Give me an arm, bro. Sarah, you're the only one for me. Uh, well, you're not the only one for her. Did Jerry Clive Malcolm think he was nice? The bloke who fixed the feeds the gas, man. He didn't just come to read the meter. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I can't believe it. From TextUK.tv, get the two highest chart and your ringtone straight to your phone. Order now by texting chart to 89039. That's chart 89039. Being a member of the AA is a bit like having a fully trained mechanic with you 24 hours a day. A huge set of tools, spares, a tow, just in case, and satellite technology so you can always be found. But of course, all you really need to carry is this. Call 0800 444 to join now from just £35. Just ask. Second out, round two. Round two, no score. Two falls to the side. Mick McManus, Black Trunks, back now going for the headlock and strangle and getting it on Johnny Saint of Manchester. McManus attacking a great deal more so far in the early rounds of this bout with really excellent wrestling holes than I've seen for some time. He uh, so often relies entirely, or almost entirely, on the uh, weakness, especially the forearm jab, but not so today. Not yet, anyway. Nice counter to a backhander by Saint, just the double arm over the top, shoulder press. hand perfectly legitimately at the moment he hasn't separated the fingers and that's what uh, the referee will step in if he tries that but Johnny Saint of course one of the last men to bend the rules and this is forced to by his opponent maybe which could be today all the way over but the perfect landing not quite so perfect that time McManus not sufficient weight, even with his uh, extra stone and a half nearly over Saint to hold the shoulder blades down this early. And the bridge is there. Yes, 
I think that Max Ward's opinion will count further than Mick McManus's on whether the shoulder blades are gone or not. Descent yet. Oh, yes, yes. Now Saint can take. Oh, he doesn't want it. So he could take a little bit of a breather there if he if he wanted to. He could have held Nick, Nick Manus for quite some time there. Grab it by McManus. Didn't reach though. And Saint again manages to counter with that hand movement. Fingers in the lock there. the joint right against that elbow joint McManus <laughs> 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 trying ring the bell but he's calling to the second rather than the timekeeper and of course he I mean, will do nothing about it one minute left round two straight arm lift was on there but Saint took too long to decide and now he's on again against the arm. A drop kick to the arm. A weakener only. Thirty seconds. Again, McManus coming in. A little bit slow again in the back of the arm, but he gets the throw in. Again, Saint forced to bridge. Backhammer nearly there. Ten seconds McManus has got. He is going to be really mad when he hears the bell ring now. Three seconds. Oh, he's going to go berserk for the timekeeper in a minute. Well, at least McManus held his temper a bit there. He didn't get the melee. Just, just that... Looks, if looks could kill a timekeeper would be lying on the deck now. Mick always accused of fighting people lighter than himself. Not so at all, although this afternoon is one of those occasions. He's got a stone at five pounds weight advantage over Johnny Singh. Now, what's the complaint now? He's always got one. I wonder what it is this time. Seconds out, round three. Round three, four rounds to go. No score, but McManus won public warning against him. Two falls to decide the one. There is McManus in the black trunks. Double leg grab. McManus nearly out on that table, but just saved himself by the bottom rock. And it's done so quickly. I don't think tell was a punch or not. That was not. That was a great forearm jab. And Mick bringing him out now. I thought he would have out now. Oh, yes. That short range jam of his, really lethal. And even Johnny Saint didn't land on his feet. Heel of the hand. Okay. Certainly, unless Saint is fooling us all here at ringside, McManus is uh, really getting him weakened now. An easy reverse double knee hold, he can't miss. Bobby Palmer, our MC. 
Uh, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in round three, the first fall in favour, Mick McManus. Well, they're booing him because it's the, it's the fashion to boo McManus, but uh, they have to admit, the grapple fans will have to admit anyway, that Mick did most of that by really good wrestling on one part of one public one. Seconds out, round four. Three rounds to go, and McManus in the black trunk, standing there, facing us, leading Johnny Saint of Manchester by one fall to nil, but one public warning is against McManus already. Now Saint considerably weakened by that continuous McManus attack in the last round with the forearm jabs. Can he come back in this? Tried to get onto his feet there, but missed. And McManus thinks it's, he's, it's going all his way now. Let's see if it is. Held beautifully. Over the top of reverse double leg Nelson. Leaning back and all the way. No chance of moving from that one. And already the equalizer in the following round, the fourth. Uh, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, in round four, an equalizing fall, Johnny is safe. So, very quickly into round four there, Johnny Saint gets the equalizing fall. And he's looking a bit happier than he did at the end of round three. Relax and talk during UEFA Euro 2004. 90 extra every one minutes and 50 texts free per month, plus free downloads. New. Get the latest and greatest ringtones on your mobile. Text the word ring to 84050. Instantly receive the top tunes from your favourite artists, including today's number one. The hottest dance tracks from the best DJs around the world. Wicked R&B and hip-hop tunes. Want to be the first with today's coolest ringtones? Text RING to 84050. benefits and the company car. I'm a website designer with real job satisfaction and less stress. I design computer games, only 30,000 a year with real promotion prospects. I'm a computer programmer working from home, spending more time with family and friends. If you're underpaid and undervalued and want real job prospects, train for a career in computers now with CompuTeach one of the UK's leaders in IT training. Join thousands who left their old jobs behind. You don't need experience, you learn mainly at home, in your own time, for IT qualifications employers really want. CompuTeach will even help you find the right job. Change your life forever. More money, better prospects, better quality of life. Call CompuTeach now on 0800 657 657 for a free information pack. That's 0800 657 657. How do we do, son? Not bad, Mum. Not bad. Second out, round five. One each now. And the next one is the one that counts. Is 
nearly dropping in on us. And the throw by the ears again he nearly drops in this is going to be a habit Max Ward saying no no year treatment you cannot throw a man by the years side headlock McManus Wrestling hole there, a Johnny Saint special when you got his man from the rear like that. Just the forearms doing the damage against the side of the face. Sort of a Saint face bar. And we will get to a freestyle hold on that one. Ah, uh, the right hand on the trunks, but the left hand on the throat. is trying to draw the referee's attention to his right hand on the trunks and away from the left hand of course which is on the opponent's windpipe well he's got one public warning already man inside of the hand shot and again he wouldn't do anything else with the referee that close. Drop kick following the cartwheel, quite quick, but I think quick enough. That's better. So that it was a bit low. One foot was on the shoulder, the other on the jaw, I think. But just a bit low. Really. But sorry, he started that, whereas... Um, so Saint doing the same trick now. It's the left hand that the referee should be watching, but of course he's trying to distract the referee's attention to the trucks. And Max Ward coming around to the back, other side, and sees what is happening there. If Max Ward had spotted it, which he probably did, he would have let it go on for a bit as retaliation. Good backhander from the top now by McManus. Double wrist lock position. There it is. There was the chop, side of the hand. No clenched fist there at all. McManus trying to pretend it was a punch, but it was not. I'm sure you at home saw it, it was not there. Forty seconds to go, round five. And that would have been too easy for McManus to... I'm saying he'd never have got away with that one. And saying to public warning. In round five, ladies and gentlemen, the first public warning to Johnny Saint. Wrestling against a man like McManus with his rule bending, of course, uh, does tend to make one try a few tricks as well. A few seconds to go, and McManus calling for the bell. It'll happen for him, too. Johnny Saints, ever since I've known him way back in 1969, has had this uh, certain certainty in his mind that he'll eventually go up through the weights. He turned pro at the age of uh, 
18, but he's still only 11 stone 2. Because he was a lightweight, of course, when he got the title, but then he's gone slightly above the lightweight uh, limit now, just a couple of pounds, 11 stone 2. But I can't see him going much further, he's too agile. Seconds out, sixth and last round. And a slick, agile fellow like Saint, of course, can hardly expect to get much heavier if he keeps in the trim he's in now. Final round, one public warning each, one fall each. Johnny Saint, back to us now. And on the ground there, and the lighter trucks. Here come the four-arm jabs. Which McManus is renowned. In better hurry, he's only got this one round. Again, Saint doesn't quite land on his feet, which he's so good at usually. That's better. A flying tackle by Saint, but McManus holds him well. It's just a question of balance now. Can Saint force him back? Or will McManus force him? And he has Saint. He can hold it and he hold it too. The scoring effort on to close of two. McManus gets him off, but that was the nearest to a McManus defeat we've seen for a time. Just one more second and Saint had him two to one. Second chance gets the body scissors well on as powerful McManus legs. Class round there around the back of Saints. Crushing the rib cage enough to make him leap go. Saint trying to unhook that one foot at least. He's laying it on harder, if anything, rather than trying to get out of it. for not attacking when the man's on the ropes, but the back elbow did some, some amount of damage there. But it's McManus' left knee, whether he's stalling, yeah. or is it the knee, inside of the knee, his old uh, car crash that he had a few years back, maybe worrying him here. And if he's not kidding, that'll be the end. Or is he? Yes, he is kidding. You never know what he's done. A couple of minutes to go in this bout now. Last two minutes. The one roost of the hurt knee didn't come off. What is he going to try next? The flying, beautiful flying drop kick. One leg foot landing well. We'll have to hurry. And a crutch hold and slam to Saint. Following round with a cross press. Again a count of two. But are so nearly in trouble on two or three occasions in these latter rounds. And wouldn't the crowd love to see a McManus defeat? a man like Saint, but it worries anybody. Forty seconds to go in this part. So he needs up and again, another chance of a falling press to Saint. Oh, about four times McManus nearly in trouble. He'll have to hurry if he's going to get the winner here. He's been at the wrong end of most of this last two rounds. 
20 seconds he's got. Going from the back nicely over the top of side, side of it through the ropes. That'll be broken. And he's only got 12 seconds left in the boat. Side headlock. And it's Saint attacking at the end, but he won't have time to make anything of it. Right on the bell. Two seconds, one, and that's it. So at least Johnny Saint made a one foolish draw against McManus. But about going the distance, Bobby Palmer to announce the result officially. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, each contestant having gained a fall apiece, the result is a draw. Nick McManus, Johnny Saint.